Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece, and I'm so glad you're here today. Today is Wednesday, the 20th of January, 2021. I'm stopping there because it is a historic day. And I almost didn't record today because I've been glued to the coverage of um, President um, Biden and Vice President Harris, and um, it's just been a very moving morning. I've had tears, and um, yeah. I hope that we see some change, and soon. Um, And I know we will. I know we will, so. Um, Okay, I'm going to get through this recording so um, I can watch some more. So, this is episode 431. I'd like to say a big welcome back. Love y'all. To all returning viewers, a big hiya. To any new viewers, thanks for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy the show. Um, this is a week where I record by myself an abbreviated version of the podcast. Um, my 21-year-old Dammy, um, Kid Dammy, is in university, and so they are with us only every other week. So, um, okay. Well, I have a lot to talk about. A very unexpected uh, cross-stitch start. Uh, some epic um, uh, yummies. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Here we go. Coffee. Um, Okay, we're going to talk about what is on my needles. First up, in this adorable kitty project bag from Little Fish Stitches. I am working on a pair of surprise socks for someone. I'm not going to tell you who because I think they watch. Um, I know they watch. Um, So this is from my French Vanilla Cappuccino sock pattern that you can get on our website, javapearldesigns.com. I'm doing these on US 1.5, 2.5 mil needles, 9 inch circulars that I call zoom zoom needles. Um, So here's here's sock number one. Um, I am using this, the main color here is Pandia's Jewels Snug in the Supernatural colorway. And the toe heel and cuff are going to be Suburban Stitcher Sock in the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park colorway. Um, and I'm hoping to have enough to make the second sock exactly the same. If not, I'll flip flop it and the Hawaii colorway will be the main color and the Supernatural will be toe heel cuff. But, um, here is sock number one. So I finished the heel and I'm working on the leg. So, um, I, I take these to bed with me at night, mm, most nights. And, um, and knit a little bit on those. The other thing I have is here in my Nerdbird Makery bag um, that I think she's going to have some more of these hopefully sometime this year. Um, is my, well, I don't need to show you the picture because I'm about to show you the thing, that my second cat vent cowl. Um, this is a pattern by Marna Gilligan of On Katian Biog. I use two, US 2.5 two 3 mil needles, and the yarn is On Katian Dub, four ply wool darkness advent calendar and I am done with the knitting here we go so up here at the top we have twitching whiskers lateral braid catsicles one cats are here part one lateral braid uh tabby stripes part one two and three lateral braid little boopable cat noses lateral braid catsicles two cats are here two lateral braid um this is something about Raspy, raspy little tongues, parts one, two, and three, lateral braid. I think this is like silky pointed cat ears. Lateral braid, cat sickles three, cats are here, three, lateral braid. Sharp teeth and claws, I think. One, two, and three, lateral braid. And that's where it was supposed to end, but I added in, because I had a 25th color, I added a Cats Are Here Part 4 lateral braid. So what I have left to do now is to put these um, provisional stitches on to a needle, and then you graft it. You bring the two parts together and graft it. I still have not decided if I'm going to put a twist in it or not. 
And this one looks different than the other one, only in that I started the color progression at a different spot because I wanted to have pink cats. Because um, that's my favorite color out of the whole thing. That and this this orange. Oh, look at these little pops of orange. Where is the cat that has the... Oh, right to here. The cats that have the orange eyes. Um, so I have not decided if I'm going to put a bra uh, um, um, a twist into it yet. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, and we'll, I'm, I definitely will have this grafted by the time we record next week. And then I actually might have enough yarn to do a third one. But I also thought it could be cool, like future down the line, um, to just take two like 100 gram skeins of fingering weight yarn and just alternate back and forth the colors. That could be cool. Um, I have a couple of people that I think would really like one of these. So I might. I might. We'll see. We will see. But that is everything that I am currently working on, but I do have an FO. So let's move on to the next segment. And now we're going to talk about my finished project. I have one this week. This is my third preemie hat for the year. Um, it's for my free top-down preemie hat pattern that you can get on our website, javapearldesigns.com. I used US 6 4 mil needles, and then I held, so I held two fingering yarns, fingering weight yarns together. I held Knit Pick Stroll Hand Painted in the Borealis colorway, and the Yarn Tree Silver Sparkle Sock in the Dr. Donna colorway. Um, yeah, so I just held them double for everything. So most recently what I had used that yarn for, is, these two yarns for, was uh, my bestie Katie's youngest son Izzy's birthday socks. But I have used this yarn in a multitude of things, other, other socks. Um, I designed actually a pair of socks using the Dr. Donna colorway, and I knit something for Dammy's birthday... Was it two years ago or was it a year ago? I don't know. Using the Borealis colorway. So, um, but yeah, um, I think it turned out really cute. Love the sparkle. And so, creamy hat number three for the year. All right, that's all I finished, but I have a lot to talk about in floss tubes. So let's move on to the next segment. <laughs> And now it's time for Floss Tube. And I have a lot to talk to y'all about. So, first up, in my project bag, I'm Tilting Planet. I am working on Cat in Heart, uh, which is a little DMC kit that I think must have been included with a magazine. Uh, Michelle Bindi Stitchy sent the kit to me. And I'm working on this only during my Stitch With Me's. And I'm doing it on the 14 count Ada that came with it. Uh, came with a kit using the floss that came with a kit. So, um, like I said, I only do this during my stitch with me, so I just added some more green to the heart. So, um, for um, Whip Go, my goal is to, um, try to figure out where to put stuff, is to work it, I put it in two squares to work on it, for each square, four different stitch with me's. So eight stitch with me's total uh, between those two. Okay, next up, if y'all could see my table. I am working on my first ink circles pattern and I'm so excited. This is Helianthus. And it is in my project bag from um, Stitching the High Notes from Joanna. This is an old style one. Um, I saw, I'm so sorry, I just um, jiggled the camera. I'm trying to open my um, craft journal here. It's from Happy Note, uh, Happy Planner, it's a Happy Notes. Um, so I started this last Wednesday after we recorded and I am using um, 14, uh, I don't know where it's from, but it's a 14 count Ada, a green Ada. And I'm trying to see I think I'm using mostly called four DMC colors. Oh, I could look right here. In my stack of stuff. 
Yes, except for one. I didn't have one of the DMC colors, so I'm using a, uh, like the next neighbor over. So this is what I got done. So I'm over halfway through that bottom border. Um, and I worked on this for three days last week. And it is on my WIPCO board to work on it for two different squares, um, five, five days for each square. So I've done three so far this month um, on that. Okay. Then I started a new project that was totally out of my, not even, I wasn't even thinking of it because I didn't know about it. So it is in my beautiful Winter Birds Garin Toten bags, um, bag that I got from the Black Needle Society, the nice list box. And I don't have a full picture to show you because there's not one. It's a, it's a sal. And it is from, um, I've had so many people ask me already, from the enablers group on Facebook. You have to apply to join. It's The group is the one, because I think there's more than one enablers um, group. It's the one with like 3,000 members or something. And they are releasing this sal three times a week for 12 weeks. And it is a Gilmore Girls sampler. I lost it when I found out. I'm using mostly called four colors. Um, there were some I didn't have, went to the store, and I didn't have all of them. So it is what it is. And I'm doing this on a 14 count Ada from um, Joann's. It's kind of a creamy brown color. And here is what I've done. Now you can see I used erasable ink to mark because, hello. Um, yeah. Okay. So the first clue was the one I'm looking because I wrote notes. Um, the first clue was from season one, episode one, and it's a Mrs. Kim quote, boys don't like funny girls. Clue number two was from season one, episode two, and it is the Chilton logo. I had to change one of the colors because the call for color didn't show up on the fabric. Clue number three is from season one, episode four. It's when a deer ran into the car, Rory's car, or the car, the Jeep, while Rory was driving. So we have deer antlers with Jeep. And then clue number four, which is taking a long time to do because it is, um, it is large, is the Luke's logo, the coffee cup with Luke's inside it. So I finished the word and finished the handle, and I'm working on that. That, um... Needle minder was also in the um, Black Needle Society nice list box. Um, the color for cocoa is 3860, and it says that on it. So I have worked on this every day since I started it on Saturday. The um, the other clues that have come out that I still am trying to need to get caught up on are um, clue five is a clock, a digital clock that says 403 which is the time that Rory was born. Um, number six is a bottle of cornstarch from season one, episode seven, where Rory says, I got kissed and I shoplifted. She stole the cornstarch from, um, uh, from the grocery store where Dean was working. Um, part seven is a uh, pot with a lid and a spoon for Suki. And part eight is a snowflake for season one, episode eight. I smell snow. I smell snow that Lorelai said. And then the clue that just released today, uh, part nine is for Richard and it's a black bow tie. So um, I am going to work my hardest to try to get caught up on the, this um, so that I can um, hopefully stitch the clues as they come out. Um, I know I have enabled some people to start it, including my friend um, Janine, who has been texting me this morning um, about, uh, I'm so sorry, I hit the thing again, the computer, um, about floss colors and um, 
that she was going to not do housework so that she could stitch on this. So, and then the final thing in my Winnie the Pooh Knit Run Dig Bag um, is Edinburgh Castle. It's my full coverage piece. Um, and all the details for, I just had a delivery at my door. I will get it after we finish. Uh, all the details for what I'm using and everything are uh, in the show notes. So he, last time I showed you this, I was at 31,200 stitches. And I did 300 stitches on it this week. These three blocks here. That puts me at 31,500 stitches out of 265,824. That's 11.85% complete. So I think this next week before we record again, I'm going to try to do the next three blocks. And then the week after, just do these two blocks because they're going to be super confetti heavy. So that is what I have been working on this week. There is cross-stitch content in Yummies, so you should stick around. And I will be right back. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show, Yummies. Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk to you about. Yummies. Black Needle Society date with your stitching box arrived this week. Um, if you follow us on YouTube, you'll, you will have uh, seen that I did a full unboxing video there, but I wanted to quickly walk you through what came. So we got our little thing. There's a photo challenge. I'm going to take all these pictures at once and then post them on their appropriate day so I can start using stuff. But look, they featured me from um, a nice list box. So, um, okay, we have a date night candle from Wickwish Candle Company, and it is oak, moss, amber, lavender, and tonka bean, and it smells really good, really, really nice. From the Laughing Forest, we have a bloom blueberry lemon thyme lollipop. And look, it has actual blueberries in it. You see them like sticking out there? I cannot wait to try this. Um, Michelle is the one that introduced me to those. We have a pair of bronze embroidery scissors. Vintage inspired, very pretty. Um, we have, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite things in here. A Stitch Hearts needle minder. I love conversation hearts. I have conversation hearts in my house right now. They're so good. This needle minder is adorable. And then I was at first introduced to this company um, in uh, via the knitting world. But this is um, Lolo Body Care. This is a Lolo to go head to toe moisturizer in stitches is the scent. And where is it? It's a blend of citrus, soft white rose, jasmine and musk and it is it's a lotion bar that comes out I love theirs I have a winter themed one right now in uh, that I've that I've been using we have a package of love potion number no. nine color changing hot chocolate and I've heard that it turns pink we have from fiber on a whim an exclusive um, thread uh, it's eight yards and it's a color called bouquet. It's got greens and pinks and tans in it. So I'm going to find something very special for that. Um, we have from, uh, also from Fiber on a Whim, we had our choice of Linen Even Weaver Ada, and I chose the Ada. And this is a 14 count Ada, one eighth of a yard in the color lipstick. That is so pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it yet, but I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, and then from Hands On Design, we have an exclusive design called A Waffle Lot. Love you, A Waffle Lot. So that's the top. Love you, A Waffle Lot. 
this is the bottom, and then there's a piece that goes all the way around if you decide to make it the pillow. Very, very cute. And then this, which Dammy wants to seal for me, I was, I was correct, is a project bag inspired by Jane Eyre. So it's got pages from the book, and it says, I am no bird, and no net ensnares me. And it's printed on both sides, and it's um, just a pretty pink on the inside. Is that everything? <laughs> did that? Did I? Yes. So, I have a coupon code for y'all, all capital letters, Java Pearl 5, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L, the number 5. That is in the um, show notes, as always, at ggkcs.com. And um, it is for a discount on your first box of a box-to-box -box subscription. Um, it is not good for special edition boxes. If you subscribe right now, I'm so excited. Our box in May is going to be Rainbow Stitches. And um, it's to celebrate Pride Month in June. And so if you if you subscribe right now, that will be your first box because you pay in advance because they have to have time to get all the stuff. So um, I am very excited about that box. They did great with this box. Um, I'm going to take all my pictures so that I can start using the stuff. And I'm putting all the stuff back in here because otherwise I will be like, now what happened to... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, because of Black Needle Society, it's all their fault. Because in the nice list box, we got a headband from the company Fable Bands. F-A-B-L-E-B-A-N-D-S. And it is a cross-stitch uh, floss one. And then for Christmas, I bought this one for me. Um, it's Gilmore Girls, I Smell Snow. And Dammy got a Chronicles of Narnia one. And then I bought two more because I'm obsessed. I'm loving headbands with short hair. And these, um, they don't slip. I, I'm very impressed. They have several, they have a few different styles. But I got um, the faux knot ones, just like this. So I got a... Hufflepuff loyalty one and I got a llamas wearing headbands one I'm obsessed they do primarily literary themed but sometimes other I think this is their mascot the, the llama I love it and then um, so for Christmas um, Sorry, coffee. My um, parents gave us money so we could buy what we wanted. And I ordered from a shop on Etsy called Hand Picked Handmade. Um, there's a link in the show notes. I bought two things. I'm going to have to stand up to show you. First, I got this hoodie that says Honorary Gilmore Girl. With the Luke's logo. That's what I'm stitching right now on the Gilmore Girl sampler pockets. Love it. And then, I don't know how dignified this is because you know what? We're in the middle of pandemic. Nobody wears a bra. I got this t-shirt that has like Stars Hollow, um, the Gazebo, Dragonfly Inn, Dosey's Market, Miss Patty's, Luke Steiner, etc. on it. And it's lovely, and it had the loveliest note in it from the shop owner, and I love it. They just arrived yesterday, and I might live in this hoodie because it's so cozy. Um, okay, the only other thing that I have for yummies is hashtag GGK Crafty Pad, which is a challenge, a photo a day challenge. You take a look at the prompt for the day, take a picture related to it, post it wherever you want, but, um, but we pick our favorites from Instagram, and we do that every other week when Dammy's on. Um, make sure um, in your uh, caption on Instagram you use hashtag GGK Crafty Pad because that's how we find your photos. And yours might get chosen. If you have a private account, you need to make sure that Dammy, Dammy's Doodles, is following you because otherwise we can't see your photos. 
Uh, we're very cheater friendly on this, on how you interpret the prompt. Today's prompt when I'm recording, I believe, is recent FO. Maybe I'll be able to finish the Luke's motif and I can take a picture of that and say, like, I finished that clue. Or maybe I will get my Cat Vent Cal grafted. We shall see. It's like almost 200 stitches to graft. So we shall see. Okay, well, I think that is everything for this segment. So let's move on to the next. And now it's time to talk about what we're reading, watching, and listening to. Um, just a reminder that um, the 2021 RAL read-along is continuing. You, there is the seasonal, so January, February, March right now. And by participating in that, you earn entries into the year-long challenge and will draw for three grand prize winners at the beginning of 2022. For this challenge, you need to read 15 minutes a day, every day. I don't care what you're reading, as long as you're reading. Audiobooks do count. Um, I'm bringing my coffee over here. There's a finish line thread in the Facebook group and um, all the details are in the Facebook group and in the show notes. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, okay, so what I am reading, I'm continuing to read a um, book for my LGBTQ plus faith book club that I'm a part of uh, for both allies as well as people who identify that way. We are reading this month for January, Transforming the Bible and the Lives of Transgender Christians by Austin Hartke. And I'm almost done. I think I have two chapters left. So, um, and the book club is open right now to join for the second season, which will be March, April, May, June, July, August. Um, there's a link in the show notes if you want to join. And make sure to put that I referred you if you sign up. I'm continuing my reread of the fifth book in the Harry Potter series, The Order of the Phoenix. Uh, I'm rereading it along with Harry Potter and the Sacred Text podcast and Swish and Flick and All Potter podcast. And this was the second half of the chapter, Grop, which is um, Hagrid's brother. Um, I finished reading Fortune and Glory, the 27th book in the Stephanie Plum series by Janet Ivanovich. That's always fun. Um, I finished reading book one, which is called Vicious, and I'm reading book two, which is called Vengeful, of the Villain series by V.E. Schwab, and this is about um, people that they call EOs, Extraordinaries, um, and what happens is these people get some kind of ability after they ha have, like, a near-death experience, um, and... Um, but there is one of the people who became this um, is trying to track down all the EOs. And I don't want to spoil it, but it's a really, really interesting read. Um, and so I'm, I'm reading book two of that series right now. And then I also read by the same author, just using a different name, uh, the Near Witch. That book is by, um, she goes by Victoria Schwab with that. Actually, I think this might have been her first book. And it's about a kind of, it's kind of a take on a fairy tale. And um, in this small village and children start disappearing. And um, it was, it was a really good read. I really enjoyed reading that. Okay, and then watching um, Stargate SG-1, we finished rewatching season two and we're rewatching season three. Some days you just, some weekends you just binge SG-1. Um, I'm watching House Hunters because I love it. Um, oh, I know what I didn't add. I'll add it in just a minute. Actually, I should put it right here. So I am listening to a new to me podcast called That's Messed Up, an SVU podcast. And it is about Law and Order SVU Special Victims Unit. And the podcast is not safe for children just FYI. But what they do is they give us an episode that you can watch or you can listen to their recap of the episode. 
Um, and then they tell us about the true crime that inspired it. And then they have someone who was in that episode on the podcast. And I think they've done maybe around like six episodes so far. Um, and the one that just released yesterday uh, is from, um, I think it's from a season 20 episode. And it's about a cult that's like the Nexium cult. Um, yeah. So I... I used to watch SVU and I stopped. Um, I don't remember why I stopped, but I stopped. So what I have been doing is like I've been watch. I watched the different episodes for the um, for the podcast uh, that they were going to be talking about. But then yesterday I started back with season one, episode one, and I'm going to watch all the way through because I do enjoy that show. So yeah, okay. And then we're watching season seven of NCIS New Orleans. Season 14 of Murdoch Mysteries, um, they had some, a couple of guests that have been in the show several times before on That's Fun. Um, season 2 is always Extraordinary Playlist. I love this show. It is like my new Gilmore Girls. Uh, I need to watch the episode that was on last night. Season 2 of Prodigal Son, Series 10 of Death in Paradise, Series 2 of A Discovery of Witches. Love that. Um... I thought that I was going to start rereading it because like I had only one book left to read from the library from my holds and then I had a whole bunch of holds come available. So, but I own those books. I own the Discovery of Witches series so I can reread that whenever. Uh, season 12 of NCIS LA and season two of The Rookie. Listening to, of course, my favorite murder podcast um, and random Spotify playlists. Plus I told you already about the other podcasts that I am listening to. So. Uh, that is what uh, I'm reading, watching, and listening this week to this week, plus the inauguration stuff. So, All right, we made it to the end of the show. I have no clue how long this episode is because I feel like I've been talking really fast because I really want to get back to watching the inauguration stuff. Apologies. You, you know on um, YouTube, well, pr I think on probably most podcast apps, you can slow the talking down. I watch all my podcasts other than one. I watch and listen to all my podcasts um, and listen to all my podcasts. at My normal speed is 1.5 or 1.75 speed. There are some that I, I think there's one that I listen to at two times speed. The only one I listen to at normal speed is David Tennant's podcast. David Tennant does a podcast with dot, 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 uh, because of the accents. If I could see his face, I would be able to listen to it faster. But just hearing with the accents, I have to slow it down. I'm not slow it down. I just have to listen to it at normal speed. So, uh, but you can slow down and speed up on YouTube. So if I'm talking too fast, slow me down. I know I talk fast. That is it. Okay. Um, just a reminder that our December, January, February walking in a winter wonderland to do to do owl is continuing uh, through the end of February. Uh, all the details are in the show notes and the uh, thread to enter your finished projects is in the Facebook group. Um, and oh, I should tell you this here. Um, we made a little change to the joining process for the Facebook group because I joined another Facebook group and they had this and I was like, this is brilliant. And I texted Dammy and I was like, what do you think? Should we do this? And Dammy was like, yes. And so I did. So it's still the same questions, uh, to join our group. Uh, um, what's the cat's name? Pink Pearl or Pink. Or if you don't remember, tell us that. Uh, who's the mama, Cece or Dammy, Cece, me, and reading the rules. But what we did is we added another question because somewhere in the rules, you have to read the rules and a check mark that you agree with them, but somewhere in the rules is a password. And there's a question for you to put that password. And that lets us know that you're reading the rules and that you're check marking. That's how you join. Uh, if you honestly don't remember the answers to the questions, tell us that because I know some people are new or whatever. Or don't remember, like, I can't remember, like, I, I couldn't remember, like, how old my niece was when I was talking to my mama the other day. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Just tell us, though. We just don't want spammers in the group. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, the, the FO thread is in the Facebook group for the, um, along. 
I don't think we have any announcements. Um, just normal, normal um, stuff. Dammy will be back with us again next week. So I've already told you in Yummies about my Black Needle Society code. Um, we'd like to say a thank you to everyone who supports the podcast, no matter how it is you do it. We're very, very grateful for you. All of our love. Um, as we've said in recent weeks, we don't do this podcast to make money, but it does cost money to do the podcast. We've got a, a, most of the cost is to get prizes shipped out because it's expensive. So if you would like to support the podcast financially, um, something on my face, I don't know what, probably like coffee because, um, there are several ways you can support the podcast financially. Patreon and YouTube join, um, are the first ways. Um, and it's a way to, um, support your favorite creatives and earn rewards or perks while you do it. Um, if you want more information or want to sign up, you can go to patreon.com slash ggkcs. Or if you're watching on YouTube, there's a YouTube, there's a join button underneath the video. And um, the rewards and perks are the same for both Patreon and YouTube join. So you don't need to do both. Uh, if you'd like to make a one-time donation, there's a PayPal button in the sidebar of our website. We are bookshop.org affiliates. Um, it's an online bookstore with a mission to financially support local independent bookstores. By purchasing from our store, we earn a commission as well as local independent bookstores. Uh, we make a list each week of all the books we talk about in the podcast, but you are welcome to buy any books from the site, bookshop.org slash shop slash ggkcs. And we are amazon.com.co.uk and .ca affiliates. If you're going to shop on Amazon, um, if you Click through our website first um, in the sidebar, the bottom of the show notes to your appropriate Amazon. Do your shopping as normal. We earn a little money back based on what you purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Great way to support the podcast by doing something you would be doing anyway. You can find us online at ggkcs.com. There you'll find links to everywhere else we are online. Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook group, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And with that, um, happy inauguration day. Um, I just have such, such feelings of hope. I have such feelings of hope, uh, in, 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 in me. Um, remember we're still going through a pandemic over, I believe it's over 400,000 people have died here in the U S from COVID and that's not okay. So remember to wear your masks, get your vaccine when you can, um, be safe and make wise choices and happy crafting. And until we see you again, I'll be back on Monday with my stitch with me and Dammy will be back with me next week on Thursday is when it will go live uh, with our regular full length episode until then happy crafting. We'll talk to you again soon. It's okay, Mama. I weighing on you strings, but I promise not to eat any of them, okay? I will just hold them here for you, um, just so they don't get washed, um, or run away. Um, because sometimes strings are naughty. Sometimes strings are very, very naughty, Mama. I'm very, very sweepy. Mama, you gave me messing in my food and it made me very, very sweepy. I'm a very sweepy baby. A very long sweepy baby. Mm -hmm.